Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I am in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Judd Coon Chevrolet, and I'm checking out a 2016 Chevrolet Trax in the LT trim level. Really neat little tiny SUV, crossover SUV, that surprisingly has a lot of room on the inside and very versatile. So let's go ahead and check it out. This one has 16 inch alloy wheels that are painted silver which look really good and you have ventilated disc brakes here on the front and drum brakes there on the back so this vehicle is called blaze red so really like the color so here in the front we have reflector halogen headlights for the high and low beams and chrome grille here in the front and a metallic accent there on the very bottom you can see it has some flat black plastic protectors there on the front bottom of the bumper area and then you also have it there on the side right in this area here that helps with uh, road debris and stuff like that so this is what the key looks like it's a uh, basically a lock and unlock button there is your remote you also have a remote start which is awesome and a panic button at the bottom but check it out switchblade key there which looks pretty good so let's go ahead and start it up we just push the lock button make sure it's locked and push and hold the remote start button and it'll start it up for us. To turn it off, you, all you have to do is push and hold the remote start button again, and it will turn the engine off. Let's take a quick peek at the window sticker in case you want to use the pause button and get some more information. This is where you'll find all the packages and the prices and all that stuff, MSRP. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Here's the inside of the passenger door you can see it's a two-tone like a gray and a black interior colors you have some storage pockets there at the very bottom including a bottle holder in there also you have this really neat little place to put your cell phone or whatever you want there plus the handle kind of dubs as a little storage space as well then your power window here and then your door lock controls there's your threshold now it's a manually adjusted seat here on the passenger side cloth seats it's a two-tone it's kind of like a tan a real light tan and a black color right here but check it out you have some stitching here on the in the sides and a little blue stitch which is pretty interesting and you have this design that kind of looks like a circuit board uh, pattern in the cloth seats as well so the seats are a combination of cloth on the inside right in here and then out here is a, a vinyl or leather so that's pretty cool so the leg room is really significant here in the front. Plenty of leg room there. You also have this little drawer that slides out so you can put stuff in there if you need to and gets out of the way. And you have some more storage space here. Push that and you have a little storage compartment up here which is easy to get to. And then you have a little inputs there, USB and auxiliary inputs there. And you have a traditional glove compartment down here as well with its smooth plastic interior to help keep it clean you also have a place to put a pen right here and check out these vents they kind of like have a you turn them and they kind of has like a little flap that folds down that's pretty neat to me so back here we have the privacy glass for the back back seat drivers and so you can keep the sun from glaring in on you and also people from seeing inside but looking out is very easy and it's easy on the eyes because it reduces the glare from the sun as well. Okay, so here's the inside of the back door. You notice the back door is all black now. There's no two-tone colors and it's pretty much all, um, you know, hard plastic except for you have a little bit of a soft to the touch surface there. You have little storage pockets here and here. Okay, with the front seat all the way back, this is your minimum amount of legroom, which is not really that bad because the front seat is all the way back and leaning back and everything. So, really not too bad. So, here's your back seats, and it's a 60 40 split, so you can fold them down uh, one or the other and get some more cargo space back there. But check out the floorboard, it's way down in there, so that way your, your knees aren't sticking up in the air. So, that helps out a lot. You also have a AC adapter. 120 volt AC adapter 150 watt so you can plug in a laptop and charge it or something like that and here in the center There's a very small hump in the center. So that helps out with the center passenger 
armrest with cup holders there in case you don't have a center passenger. So I moved the front seat up quite a way so you can get an idea of how much additional leg room you can have here in the back. So these seats will actually fold down, so let me show you how, the, how to do that. There's a little strap right here that you pull here in the front, and it kind of unhinges the, the, the seat there, and it kind of flops up like so. So then you're left with that. Now you just, there's a handle up here, you just pull that, and this seat will go straight on down like so. And you just kind of push it in place. So that way you can increase your cargo space. Now you notice you can have passengers on that side and cargo space on this side, you know, or you can have vice versa. So very versatile. So your fuel cap is on the passenger side. So you can have the passengers pump the gas for you. And you have the traditional cap with a little tether there and it has a neat little place to hang it. So it keeps it away from your red paint and it keeps it out of the way while you're pumping gas. Let's take a look here on the back. You see the privacy glass not only keeps people from looking in, but it looks really sharp too. So you have a metallic accent across the bottom as well. And you do have parking sensors back here. You see little parking sensors there and there. You also have a backup camera right in there. You have a single exhaust over here to kind of let that engine breathe. That's a turbocharged engine, which we'll check out in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look back here. So there's your cargo space. Lots of cargo space for a, a kind of a small crossover like this, especially considering you can fold those seats down. So you have this, you know, grocery bag holders. You have a light there, storage pocket, place to tie down. Here on the right side, we have some grocery bag holders here, and you have this little compartment here to kind of put some stuff. Just want to point out something. You have a latch system for car seats in the second row, and this is the anchor for that. This is not the anchor for your car seat. Just wanna, that's just for tie down uh, cargo there. You have this cover that goes up and down when you lift this up like so, and it kind of covers everything up, but this is removable. So you just un, unsnap it from there and you remove this string here and you can take it out if you need to increase your cargo area. Under here is your spare tire and tools and you can utilize some space under here for some tools or cargo space or whatever. So once you start folding these seats down, the 60-40 split is right in here. So you can fold down one or the other or both and you can get some more cargo space and it opens up quite a bit of space back here. So if you don't use the remote start, you can use the key by flipping it out like so. That's pretty neat. And you put the key in there and you turn it. Now you will have to turn on the key even if you use the remote start. So let's go ahead and start it up. So here's the floorboard space for the driver's, in front of the driver's seat. And you can see it has the accelerator pedal, brake pedal, and you have a place to put your left foot, which is very convenient. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. So to lift up the hood, just a little bit to the left of the center line here, you can feel a little latch and you move it to the right and you can lift up the hood. So there's your latch there. And the hood is surprisingly a little bit heavy, so you wanna be prepared for that. But, uh, and it does require this prop here to hold it up. But anyways, so here's your engine compartment and you have a little engine in there. It's a 1.4 liter, 138 horsepower engine with 148 pound feet of torque. And it is powered, it has a turbo. So that way it gets, you know, that additional power there, uh, considering it is a small displacement engine, 138 horsepower is pretty good for a 1.4 liter. So here's your battery there on the right. And you can see that the engine is actually low down in there. It's down in the engine compartment in a low position. This helps with the center of gravity being low on the vehicle. So that way it helps with, you know, handling and, uh, just overall safety on the highway and stuff like that. So let's take a look on the inside of the driver's door. It's just like the passenger side has all the, you know, soft to the touch surfaces here and the pockets, just like the other side. You have your door lock controls, your power window controls. Now the front are one touch down and one touch up, which is pretty good. Your side mirrors are controlled here. You just pick a side, left or right, and then you can adjust it like a little joystick, which is neat. 
So here's your powered driver seat. So you have the, uh, you can adjust the forward and back, up and down. You also have a powered uh, lumbar, lumbar support here, but you do have a manual tilt. So you do have to manually tilt the seat. Right in here is your headlight controls. You can turn on and off your uh, daytime running lights by just turning it like this. There's automatic parking lights, and then there's your headlights. There's your dimmer switch for your interior gauges. And the steering column is a tilt and telescoping steering column. And you can lock it in place with the lever. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the inside in a little bit more detail. Really comfortable seats, uh, have the lumbar su support set and you know have a really good uh, amount of leg room, knee room, all that good stuff. So check out this little storage pocket there so you can put some change or whatever in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel with the stitching on the inside. Feels really comfortable and high quality. Gives a little tiny bit in the hand. It's a uh, good thickness, very comfortable, and then you have little grips right there. But you have quite a few buttons. Here on the left side is your cruise control. So you can turn on and off there. You can set it by pulling it down, change through your speeds by going up and down, and then you can cancel it here. On the right side is your volume for your radio. So you can adjust that. You can change your source by pushing it in, and then you can go up and down to change through your presets on your radio. Your Bluetooth controls are right here, so you can answer calls, make calls using these buttons here once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system. Okay, so your windshield wiper controls are there on the right, front and rear. And here on the left is your turn signal, but you also have this uh, menu button, which I'll show you in just a minute. So here's your gauges. So basically you can see you have your RPMs as a physical gauge, but the rest of the gauges are digital. So you have your, your fuel gauge there, big digital speedometer, which is really easy to read. And then you have your uh, some information there and your odometer. So that little information screen, let's go ahead and show you that you can get some more information by pushing these buttons. So let's go ahead and push this menu button. So you can see it changes the screen. There's your oil life at the very bottom, and then it scrolls back to your average miles per gallon. You also have the ability to change through by moving up and down. And you can see it gives your average miles per gallon. Down will give you how many miles you can drive before you get gas. Down again, you give your average miles per hour, a timer, and then it goes back to your average miles per gallon. Of course, this vehicle gets much better than 10 get miles per gallon, but it's a new vehicle and it will average that out so once you start driving it it'll be more accurate okay so over here you have a little storage area to put your sunglasses or whatever in and check out these i think these are made for cell phones because it's really handy to just kind of put a cell phone right in there it's a pretty interesting pocket here and here uh, to put some stuff for the driver and passenger down here is your touch screen radio so let's go ahead and push the home button there. So this is pretty neat. You have um, kind of a different look here in the 2016 model. So let's go ahead and push audio so we can see what that looks like. We're in the FM. We have presets here at the bottom. We can change the source by pushing that button. AM, FM, satellite radio, USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth is all your options for different sources. Let's go back out of here picture and movie this is interesting so I guess you can actually play that through the sound through the screen right here while you're in park you can play pictures and stuff and movies which is interesting okay your telephone you can set that up we don't have one paired but once you pair your phone you can play music through your sound system you can make calls all kinds of stuff smartphone link this is where you'll have uh, different apps like Pandora Stitcher tune in and bring go is what it's showing there this blacked out right now because there's nothing connected but that's what's available and then you have a tremendous amount of settings in here language time scroll speed all that kind of stuff now you notice on this home screen you also have a nice big digital clock outside temperature and your date which is very very handy 
and your volume is controlled here and you have a power button here so you can turn it off if you want to and when you turn it off you still have your clock and your date and your temperature which is great to have so down here is your traction control your four-way flashers your you can turn off the traction control there it's always on unless you turn it off there's your temperature your your um where you want the air to blow and your fan speed air conditioning and your recirculate the air so this is pretty neat you can put like a credit card or some kind of card in these little spots so you can put credit card or business card a parking ticket that kind of thing in these little places 12 volt power supply there little storage cubby down in here and let's go ahead and put check out the shifter it's a really comfortable and easy to reach shifter Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. And when we put it in reverse, or the beeping sound, let us know the parking sensors are now active. And we have the backup camera is now popped up here. And you can see the, uh, the guidelines there as well. Now the guidelines don't move when you turn a steering wheel, but, uh, but they do kind of give you an estimated you know, distance from things behind you. You can see the bumper there and all the way up to the sky and all around. This is a six speed automatic transmission by the way so it's going down to neutral drive so this is your normal drive position then you have a manual mode in which you can cycle through the gears using these buttons here on the side of the the shifter the plus and negative in case you need a downshift going downhill or whatever there's your parking brake cup holders are right here and then you have this big pocket to put whatever you want in it and another pocket back there so up here is your rear view mirror. Now it is a manually adjusted day and night mode. Then you have a voice recognition button, on star button, and emergency button in case you need that. Place you have some lights for the driver and passenger. You can turn on all the interior lights by pushing this button. And then you have the off button, off side. And then here in the center is to actuate the lights when you open up the door. So you have on the visor just a mirror, no lights. Same thing on that side. So let's take a look at the visibility in the back. Not too bad. Uh, there is a pretty considerable blind spot there on each side and it has nothing to do with the headrests. So you wanna take that in consideration. Now it does have the parking sensors and the boot and the backup camera to help out. By changing lanes, you wanna you know, pay attention to that but overall not too shabby. All right, okay, so there you have it. Pretty interesting vehicle, very comfortable and roomy and gets good gas mileage too. So thank you for watching and thank you to Judd Coon Chevrolet for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time.